This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Red Dead Redemption 2. From the creators of Grand Theft Auto 5 comes Red Dead Redemption 2, an epic story of honor and loyalty set in the dying days of America's outlaw era and told across the deepest and most expansive rock star world to date. Releasing for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on October 26th, Red Dead Redemption 2 is available for pre-order today at rockstargames.com slash Red Dead Redemption 2. Rated M for mature. Hey everyone, before the show starts, I want to tell you that this year, PCAST Blast 2018 is coming. Saturday, December 15th at the Theater at the Ace Hotel in Los Angeles, California. This is an all-day incredible show. We have Comedy Bang Bang with myself, Paul F. Tompkins, Lauren Lapkus, and other special guests. And then listen to this lineup. We have the Andy Daly Podcast Pilot Project, Doughboys, Throwing Shade, off Book, the improvised musical, and Teacher's Lounge. This is going to be an amazing show, an all-day show. One ticket gets you into all of those shows. It's all day, all night. Um, it's really going to be great. If you were at last year's show, you know how fun this is. Tickets go on sale this week, and VIP meet-and-greet tickets are available. Check my Twitter, at Scott Aukerman, for details about when they go on sale. They're going on sale this week, and this will sell out. We'll see you there this year at PCAST Black. Skype is a brand of mouthwash in Australia. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Hmm. Informational, if not funny. Uh, thank you to Ben Jammin for that catchphrase submission, and welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another week. And uh, what a week it is. Uh, coming up a little later, we'll have a California native, uh, Brody Broderson, will be here, and uh, self-proclaimed fan favorite Rudy North will also be here. That's very exciting. Uh, professional dirtbag, as I recall. And uh, speaking of dirtbags, our first guest is not one. He is uh, one of our most treasured, treasured guests ever since the old days back in the old, old studio. Um, you know him as the director and co-writer of Wet Hot American Summer, director of several other movies. Um, what are his other credits? Uh, magician of Note? Uh, although, uh, to my knowledge, has not performed professionally in a professional capacity at, at, at anywhere that I know of uh, that uh, that I could buy tickets to. I don't know. He's holding up a fist, but I don't know whether he's threatening me or whether he's perfecting whatever he, it is he's drawing. He's currently sketching something on a paper right in front of me. Please welcome David Wayne. Hello. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you for very much. You know, not enough people welcome me to the show. You, just because you're the host doesn't mean that you do not deserve a welcome. And welcome back. I welcome back. Say, welcome back. During that introduction, you threw me for a loop because you were talking and then you're like, speaking of dirt bags. And I'm uh -huh. like, now wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> this guy's going to. Take me through the process. I was, here's what was going through my mind. I'm like. This guy's about to lay the dirtbag moniker on on me. What? No. <laughs> and I'm like, that's first of all, even in, even in jest, that would be pretty rough. I agree because if if I were just as they say joking around, yeah. uh, and I were to say something like that, I personally would get very offended by that and say, wait a minute, does David think that about me? There is a line, right? Yeah. I mean, abortion, for example. Sure. Now, what? And where do you fall on that? <laughs> I, I slice it right down the middle. Oh, dear. Slice. So then you turned it around, though, and you're like, here's a guy who is not a dirtbag. Right, and that's what I meant to say. I would I would have introduced you as such uh, regardless of the previous person I was talking about. Well, I got to tell you, the relief that shot through every limb of my body, mm. I'm talking about left arm, right arm. Sure. What else you got? Left leg. Uh, got it. I know there are others. It was just insane. And now here I am. I'm happy. I'm relaxed. I'm 
And then, uh, happy for my current status of not a dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, I'm glad that you're relaxed. You're ready to do the show. Uh, you are ready, by the way. I did I, not ask you whether you were ready before we started. I am ready, and if I am not ready, I certainly will be ready in about 25 minutes. Okay, great. We'll check back in with you then. I got. I, I do have news. You do? Oh, great. Okay. We're breaking some news. All right. Uh, is, do we uh, need to break into other podcasts here? Uh, yeah. What if, you, <laughs> what if you're listen, listening to Serial and suddenly we broke in? <laughs> uh, this is probably important enough for that. So okay, what do you got? List, if you are currently listening to another podcast and not this one, please, please stop pause that one. that one and start this one. Okay. Uh, I am newly an official uh, magician member of the Academy of Magical Arts, <gasps> which is the Aoma at the Magic Castle in L.A. Really? So does that mean you are performing, or does that mean you are just merely a scholar? It means uh, no. It means as a as a magician member, I can perform there anytime. And will you be performing? Because I will make another jaunt out there to the castle, as they call it. Have you ever called it the castle? Uh, no, that's a little. <laughs> Sorry, I, I you know I'm not a member of the. That's like I'm a member, but that's like inside, inside, inside. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, the yeah, Magic yeah. Castle is fine. Okay, okay, yeah. I, I, but I would make a trip to the Magic Castle uh, to see you. Were you ever to perform? Well, you know the thing is. I, there are these little spaces around the, the castle, little rooms or little mm -hmm. corners and tables. And as a member, I can go and just sit wherever, and people crowd around, and I'll do it. And I'm really good, so we'll do that some night. Please, would you tell me when? I, I'll dig up a tie and uh, yeah. some some comfortable loafers. You got to dress up. Yeah, I was a, as a kid. I always dreamed about going to the Magic Castle just to dress up or to see uh, the magic. No, just because I dreamed about dressing up. My parents would not allow me to dress nicely. <laughs> really? Well, um, now, what was their psychology of that? They, well, you know, it was the '60s when I was born. Okay, um, sure. And that the idea was like, hey, we don't trust people in a tie. Yeah, right. So uh, my parents made me wear ratty T-shirts and ripped up dungarees. Also, ties and belts and shoelaces can be yeah. used to hang yourself. Exactly. And and, and uh, sure enough, when they finally gave in and got me a pair of Nikes, I tried to hang myself. <laughs> really? Um, it yeah. seems like the, your, all of your dreams are coming true. You have a pair of Nikes, by the way, Nike. Well, in the news... A little while ago. Oh, a month ago. ago or so, yeah. yeah. Some time ago. Maybe even a month, six weeks or so ago. Could, uh, <laughs> could currently be in the news now for all we know. Exactly. We haven't checked our, our uh, news feeds this morning. Um, Maybe we'll get a breaking news uh, in the middle of this. The founder of Nike, I forget his name, Phil something? Uh, Phil. If, it's if, if he, Phil. I don't know his name. It's not really coming off the tongue. But it's not really. You, Phil. Phil. Nike Phil. No, I'm not. Uh. Well, anyway, uh, because we're taping this a little bit in advance, uh, just in case he died, I am so sorry. So sorry. Let's apologize yeah. uh, for the, the head of Nike, Phil. Mr. Phil? It's, it's, Mr. Phil, Phil? it's Phil Nike. I'm sorry. Phil Nike. I, I have Phil. to step in. Hi. Who's it? Uh, it's sir? Thomas Middleton. Hi, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, <laughs> wait a minute. Thomas Middleditch. Thomas Middleditch just, from Silicon Valley. Just been sitting here, really enjoying the conversation. It's Where are you Philip doing, listening Nike. to the show? Uh, just a big fan, long time. Just fan. sitting in first the shadowy time. corner. Yeah, first time lurker. Love lurking. <laughs> I got to say, whether it's Sex in the City or Sopranos, I love all the stuff on your network. Great, yeah, great job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, the Very real good. sex. Yeah, that's going sex. away, right? Thank God. Did you ever used to like to know that the minute Silicon Valley would end, that someone would be immediately jerking off right after your show? And now they <laughs> was, won't be. Was that the order? I thought it was John Oliver afterwards. <laughs> That's what I mean. Oh. <laughs> I always jerk off at the end just because it was so terrific, so well written. <laughs> it's just like, I want to yeah. celebrate. Yeah. Uh, Thomas, so Sorry, good to I, see you. Yeah. Do you know David Wayne here? Yeah, of course. We've high five before. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Can sure. I see an example of that? Sure. Well, it's not. It's not something that's going to oh. translate so well on the radio. But here we go. Okay. Right. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, as sounds go. Yeah, I would put that on a sound effect record. We had a pretty good time with it. Yeah, that was great. I mean, that was one of the most satisfying high fives I've had in about ten years. <laughs> wow! By the way, I ha actually have a sound effects record that I'd like to play another selection from. Oh yes, please. Uh, this one, this track is called um, "Horse uh, Running Through Stables." Running through stables. Okay, so yeah. we'll hear the sounds of stables being yeah, knocked down. Different, and uh, ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, get out of the stables! It's a long oh, stable. Oh, wow. So, yeah, at yeah. the very end, I heard. Unfortunately, the stable master, uh, when I was recording this one, 
got in the way. But I, we, yeah. if you're using it in, say, a movie or TV show, you can cut that part Probably out. cut that part or out. Just yeah. fade, or just fade the faders fade. down. So it would be like, yeah. hey, get out of this. Yeah. And then yeah. You, you might get it before, but yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's great. Do you, and did you bring any sort of uh, records or anything like that? Any uh, sound effect yeah, records? Yeah. I brought, I brought well, I got a couple. Of, one, one of them's called, uh, kind of, a, it's called Mistake. That's what I've labeled the file as. Oh, okay. Mistake. Um, you'll you'll see. Oh, okay. This like uh, comes up all the time. Let's in, hear it. Yeah, in comedy. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So you know, now I I've been in editing sessions myself. Yeah. Uh, using you know uh, f- uh, Final Cut Pro, uh, oh, professional Adobe Premiere, sure. Adobe Premiere, and I've been in the situation where I've been like. <sighs> We didn't get the actor saying whoops. Well, yeah, you don't even need it to always come out of the mouth. Like, it's not yeah. all have to be advanced uh, digital reckoning, ADR. Some, sometimes you can pretend like they farted whoops. Well, yeah, or, you know, <laughs> I've actually found it really, it works really well. So say, just for example, mm-hmm. your main lead protagonist character is trying to open up a door. A pretty, Thomas Middle Ditch. A, a Middle Ditch type is trying to open up the and door. And every man. And every man. Sure. More like Someone every... who might want to sell you some cell phone <laughs> <Yeah>. coverage. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. Well, yeah. He opens up a door, but he opens it up too quickly right into his own noggin. And oh. He just, whoops. Just drop that in, and, yeah. And I'm pro- I'm promising you, people will be on the aisles. Well, this for that film, for example, last several months I've been working on this YouTube video where there was this. <laughs> I've been hearing about uh, this, by the way. Yeah, yeah. there was a woman who um, was caught on a security camera. Uh, with a bunch of groceries, and then she had too many, and she fell down. She too many. Now she paid for the groceries, so she was. Oh yeah, she was caught on camera. She was caught on camera, like trying to carry too many. Okay, know, like, she didn't. So fall. they caught her. She didn't fall, but some of the groceries fell. Right. Okay, so some of uh, out of the top of the bag, not through the bottom. Uh, yeah, th- out of the top. Top of the bag, a few groceries fell on the exactly. ground. Exactly. This, this okay. is going to be on YouTube, like this is soon. well uh, soon. I basically I found this footage, this security okay. footage. How did you find the footage? I saw it on a different YouTube video. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but he, I, he got it from e bombs. Well. I got it. Yeah, exactly. But I, what I'm doing is I put a little music soundtrack behind it. Oh, okay. What kind of music do you have? Uh, just it's just basically bebop mixed with trans. Oh, dub that sounds good. That's like, the kind of music I like. Actually, drum and bass kind of thing. Yeah, I love all those genres. Um, so to mash them up like that, that yeah, sounds amazing. I like to. I take from different places, man. Yeah. And then I just like uh, whatever it synthesizes. Oh you know? man, that's how, and you play it yourself? No, no, no. I just pull down a track from somewhere from e bombs <laughs> right. world. I like to okay. synthesize and then it incredibilize. Mm. You know, that's how I do it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, so I th- was thinking when the dr- groceries drop, this is a great opportunity for me to use oh, yeah. Thomas's uh, sound Mistake. effect. Yeah. Sound effect. Because it, it would be a whoops. You know, yeah, it would be like, a, it'd be like a, a whoops. Whoa. You know, oh, wait, whoops. do you have a whoa? I didn't hear whoa. Uh, no, I was see. sort of just responding emotionally to the idea of using oh, whoops. Oh, I see, I see. But you wouldn't put whoa in there? Because it sounded really good, actually, uh, when you just did it. I don't have that track anywhere, though. Yeah, I've we, got we get tr- something that says, let me see here, my, my MP3s. Yeah. I've got something that says, take it down a notch. Take but it down a some notch. Some of these MP3s are like 16 <laughs> years old. Yeah, do you think that this is a I was making them with my direction sound to you, or is this car. what someone is saying in the no, actual? Let me see here. Let me okay, just let's play, play it. it, yeah. Son of a bitch! Oh. Fuck! Ooh! Oh. <laughs> okay, wow. So that so that was you maybe trying you Thomas Middleditch tried to tell the person in that sound effect that they should take it down a notch uh, with know, their th- acting style or hey <laughs> I don't know some I made some of these on LSD dude <laughs> oh. I gotta say though like I've been working on some YouTube video that I was saying about the grocery thing yeah, yeah no, about six it. seconds long it's gonna be ultimately but yeah I don't know if I'm up for the four letter word thing oh yeah, yeah that'll turn off I mean anyone uh, under 13 right I just, away I yeah. wanna get some likes on this thing you know? yeah. yeah well you gotta understand I took a lot of influence from the, you know those novelty sound effects machines that you could buy back sure this had to be back in the yeah I could be talking about the 90s Two, sure. yeah or even 2017 sometimes yeah and you press the buttons and they say dirty words sure yeah I was re- you know I wanted to make for a while I was trying to make my own and make my millions doing oh that. yeah I mean I remember when the jerky boys came out everyone wanted to make their own funny <laughs> phone calls callers. and then this was very similar suddenly everyone wanted to make their own sound effects <laughs> machines <laughs> you press my buttons enough I'm gonna say some dirty words yeah. <laughs> oh. hey David <laughs> sorry Come on. I had to say it <laughs> you, I know yeah. you did I'm not but... gonna say the words but you can you can <laughs> use your imagination let's just put it there let's okay. leave it at that yeah. and let's not talk about it anymore All right, I'm Mr. using Wayne. my I, I, I Wayne likes to ride the line 
line and yeah. keep it there. But pal. let's leave it at that. I okay. guess my imagination isn't vivid enough because nothing's really coming to mind. Well, how about okay? Oh, uh, you, you asked for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. How about you're, this? You're gonna get some pretty hard scenarios. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Shit for brains. Well, I don't know. It's kind of like a dad thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit for brains. Shit for brains. Every day from the, when I was born till I went to college. Yeah. You mow the lunch. Your dad, shit the radio uh, personality, yeah. used to call you shit for brains? Yeah, he was the big chief. Yeah. And I was shit for brains. Is it? <laughs> so you called him the big chief? Oh, everybody did. Everyone did. Okay. Yeah. And you were shit for brains. Yeah. So he would say, hey, how are, how are you doing? I'm the big chief. This is my son, Shit for Brains. Yeah, that's how he opened the radio show every day. <laughs> oh, you guys were on the radio show together? Yeah, well, I mean, he, yeah. I was, we were sort of, it was like a morning zoo. What kind was of his thing. first name? Keenan? Keenan yeah. Wayne? Mm-hmm. Um, he, no, my dad is, you know, everyone knows my dad. Everyone knows. Marlon We've talked Wayans. about it on the show. <laughs> Marlon Wayans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, One of the brothers. Yeah. You've heard of the brothers Warner. Yeah, this, the this is the brothers. brothers Wayans, right? And they did this show in Living Color and sure. stuff like that. And then a yeah. lot of our younger listeners maybe don't know exactly what In Living Color is. Could you describe it in uh, detail? It was, uh, yeah, of course. It was a sketch comedy show. Uh, my dad and his brothers, and um, <laughs> they uh, it would you know a lot of it was a lot of diverse cast, and they had the these diverse in what way? Black and white, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, then, I see uh, that. There was James Carey. Yeah, Jim Canadian Carey James Carey. Canadian. Oh, the Canadian. Yeah, comedian. And they had the Fly Girls, right? They, they had the, oh, yeah. I don't know what the. Uh, they were dancers. Dancers, and they were flies. flies. Human flies. You've human seen the movie <laughs> Human Flies? I've You've seen the movie Human Flies. <laughs> human Flies? Yeah, my favorite movie. Of <laughs> course I have. Wait, Jeffrey Goldblum. <laughs> well, you know, have you ever seen Sing in the Rain? Um, so, like, that, sing a song from it, maybe it'll jog I my memory. I'm singing in the rain. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yes, so, of course yeah, I've so seen now that. So that's, that's dancing. That is dancing. What he was doing there yeah. with the umbrella? Right. So now you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I thought okay. that was just splashing so around. The Fly Girls had umbrellas. <laughs> I I don't know that. I don't know that. And it was raining on them? I can't uh, confirm that. You can't. Okay. He can neither confirm nor deny the rain. <laughs> You're not going to deny it. I'm not going to. You know what? I think it's are getting, getting into, into a legal. Area, we're getting, uh, and it's better David, if we just. Are you representing me. David? I'm, just, <laughs> I, I'm familiar with a couple of his. Yeah. Lawsuits and just you're, you're being sued, David. This just, is you know what? David, it's probably please. best if I just yeah, just move on yeah. from there. Okay. Move Next on question and, and talk about it in detail. Yeah, I'm just let's Next leave question, it at that, Mr. Ackerman. Okay, what are these lawsuits about? Ooh, ooh, oh, should I? Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, this, David is involved in a a. a a few lawsuits. Do you, know, do you know the swimmer Mark Spitz? From sure. The, I always thought that okay. was interesting. Like, he Are, dives in the water, and, and and he swallows the water, and he has to spit it out. That's how I would remember his name. Well, right. Well, <laughs> you're, you're familiar with the swimmer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're familiar sure. with the drought in California. Okay. okay. I'm not putting the two of them together, though. Uh, you, use your imagination. <laughs> I think you'll figure it out. Okay, for the okay. past... <laughs> The, the the allegations are that for the yeah. past, mm, let's say, 10 years. Okay, a which decade. Is, which is debatable. That's okay. alleged. Yeah, <laughs> okay. This, this is why it's poppycock. Okay. okay. Yeah. It, is that my client here has been diverting water from the California Reservoir to feed the addiction of this swimmer's appetite for swimming. <gasps> By the David, way, no! It's so much more complicated. The, the, no, there's okay. no room for gray area and, and in this I'm, discussion. And I tell yeah. you, if I said the addiction word, the A word on right. NPR, I'd get an email, <laughs> you know? But, and, and now Spitz is uh, labeled as an addict when he's so many other things. He's also, uh, he loves Scrabble, you know? He, he does, he really? I'd love to play with he's, him. He's a, he's a wonderful, he's a Civil War buff. Isn't but, he now? Uh, and so, but, oh, no, no, forget all that. He's an addict to swimming. Well, now I know the statue of limitations on such a crime is 12 years, but you say it's, oh, it's been a decade. Yeah, oh, so it hasn't elapsed yet. We can't right, actually talk both, about it. Let's say 12 years, decade. Two, 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 two years Two year difference, yeah. yeah. Oh, Minus God. Two. Let me just quickly double, I've got a paper. Yeah, could you, uh, I just want to check my math on that. 10. Hey, Siri, I have a two minus what zero is, is two 12 minus, minus a decade? One is zero, so O2, okay, cancel I have those, two. leading zero, it's two. Two. Oh, Siri says two. Oh, yeah. can you beat Siri? Jinx. <laughs> hey, this is a game show. Can you, can you beat, beat Siri? Siri? Yeah, well, the, frankly, these days, you know, Siri is uh, uh, more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't, don't know, know what, what you're trying to say. Yeah, what do, do, do. No, Okay, what's it? You pick it up. Uh, she's. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You don't know either. <laughs> 
Who would host Can You Beat Siri? Okay, well, let's who, just throw you, some names you in there. You should hat. know about the computer stuff, Richard. <laughs> Don't ever do that. <laughs> who's Sorry. Richard? Who's really Richard? Can't who's stand Richard? That. If you ever saw it's the character I play on the TV show, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley? Oh, the, oh, okay. I haven't seen it, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I, I'm my own person. I'm my own woman, and I don't like that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, David, I'm sure you apologize, right? I mean, yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs> You're going to think about <laughs> apologizing? I'm thinking about it. All I right. Gotta, well, I, you know, I don't. I got to talk to my assistant and stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, but and uh, my, my agent. And, uh, so, so who would host uh, uh, Can You Beat Siri? I mean, these days. These days, you get a – who's the next Tom Bergeron? Uh, Charlie Rose? <laughs> I mean, why not? Sure. He's probably free. Yeah. I'd buy that for a dollar. Um, Why'd you say see. that? Huh? Why'd you say that? Because that's a famous catch. That's Charlie Rose's famous catch. He used to say that? Yeah. I'd buy that for a dollar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after, after interviewing – No, and he would always be – Celebrities be like, and heads of state? Smoking. Remember? Yeah. Smoking. Yeah. Really? Did he used to smoke? No, um, it was kind of like it was no, on he fire. Was like, oh, yeah. oh, his oh, his career was on fire. No. no, he would be like, you know, I have Angela Dickinson here, and she is smoking. Oh, yeah. Okay, he'd be talking about a female guest. Yeah, and how she's having a cigarette. Right. Okay, great. <laughs> David Wayne is here, and Thomas Middleditch, and um, I, I've always wondered, have you guys ever worked together? I mean, uh, two comedy titans such as you, uh, I, I can only imagine, David, if, if you were putting up that uh, 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 rectangle that they call the movie screen, and you somehow fit Thomas in it, or Thomas, if you uh, uh, had had a, a wonderful new show on HBO, and you were like, God, I gotta get David here to be in this, mm. I mean, has this ever happened before? It's going to. Not, it's go- yeah, you have something not coming yet up? Not in an official capacity, but yeah, we've got a couple of things brewing. Watch out for 2022. What? Tw- that's a long lead time. <laughs> Four years? Not, Is it no, animated? Not, not or? For, hey, listen, movies sometimes take t- time to brew. Okay. Oh, they're brewing right now. Okay. Uh, in an unofficial yeah. capacity. Yeah. Like, what, ad- what good ideas do you have? Um, You know, socks that are, you know, actually shoes. It's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean it to be funny. It was just like a business idea. Oh, but no, you think no. it's funny? Yeah. No, I mean like what kind of movie ideas? Maybe we'll. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, well, there's this one where there's a prisoner. Okay. Um, and uh, he uh, he he loves prison so much that he's trying to decide like what crime he should commit. We'll buy it. We'll buy it. You're gonna buy it? Yeah. How, We're gonna how, option how much? Thing. I mean, I w- I really couldn't option it for less than seven figures. Uh, deal? <laughs> wow. So <laughs> that was easy? I think we just made a deal in the room, guys. What? Uh, okay, wow. so $9,999,999? Well, yeah, I'll tell you this. I went into Universal Pictures uh, yesterday, yeah. oh. and they said, if it's Middle Ditch and Wayne, green light. And say no more. If it's if Middle it's Ditch mid- and Wayne, if, you can't complain. If it's Middle Ditch and Wayne, you have to be insane to turn it down. <laughs> got it, got it. What if it's Wayne and Middle Ditch? <laughs> They're never going to be rich. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay, so you, got, so you guys want to buy my idea about the prisoner. Are you going to change it at Wayne all? Wayne and Middle Ditch cut the snitch. Cut the snitch, meaning the snitch from Harry Potter. Like no, like cut him because he's a lot because he's snitching. Oh, the snitching. The, yeah, oh, him. okay. Cut it. Cut him. Oh, okay. Which one of you is the snitch? It, that no, that applies to a totally different situation. Oh, okay, That's great. It. So, are you guys going to change my idea, or are you going to film it exactly the way I just described it? You know what? I I'm a big believer in just like really honoring the source material. And yeah. So I don't feel like I want to add anything uh, or change anything. So yeah. is it just going to be me saying what I just said? Pretty much. Um, I mean, you know, yeah, m- maybe there'll be a, a little music. Maybe you might do it in slow motion to make the movie a little bit longer. Yeah, or? We, well, you know, we, obviously we have the technology to do that now, so we yeah. can slow it yeah. way down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How slow do you want to go with this thing? It's going to get, it goes down to um, 100 milliseconds. Yeah, that's oh. 4,000 FPS. Oh, at 4,000. Wow, that's pretty slow, I got to yeah. say, yeah. But I have a really good camera that I got at B&H. Yeah, he's got the 30 mil. Barnes and Hobos? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Barnes, Barnes and, and Hobos. hobos. <laughs> Bums and Hobos. Bums and Hobos. Bums and hobos. <laughs> yeah, so you a, stole this off a homeless person. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, my dude. <laughs> it's, 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 I go to Skid Row and I steal their stereo stuff. <laughs> okay. They don't need it. What are they going to plug it in for? <laughs> it's like, I'm going to go to B&H and buy, get some stuff I need. All right, I get it. I get it. I don't know if you saw the movie Peppermint. Uh, I have, uh, yeah, the one that was out a month and a half ago. Yeah, of and course I saw really it. really a month. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. Yep. 
a month I, and a half ago. Of course I saw it. I, of course, thought it was about candy. So, uh, and I was like, it's not Halloween yet. What's going on? Well, but, it's Julia Roberts or whoever that is. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jennifer whoever Garner. that is. We don't even know. And is it she, Julia Roberts? Yeah. I saw the film. And she... No. Her, she bases herself in Skid Row where all the <laughs> celebrities are. Where yeah. all the, I mean, the uh, homeless people are. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> and these days, I mean, what's the difference? <laughs> You, you know, know, I with saw all the celebrities losing I, their homes. I, I saw, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't get me started on that whole issue. <laughs> um, here, you're having st- you don't want to get started on that? this. <laughs> Do you have you been financing homes for celebrities? <laughs> yeah, again, not something that we can talk about, Mr. Oh, Ackerman. Oh, really, no, that, that, be- that really is sort of sensitive. What was the APR I, been, on this? We've been kind of kidding around today, but. I, yeah, I no don't, more that's goofs, an area guys. I, don't I don't know that I've been kidding around, actually. <laughs> no more goofs, sir. <laughs> Senator I, Ackerman. I apologize. Senator Ackerman. I, uh, yes. I'm what, sorry. Is, what is your stance? On... Uh, what is your stance on on the, the differences mm-hmm. between a capital punishment okay. and Roe v. Wade? Uh, well, one is something that you do to someone, and uh, another is a ruling on law. Interesting. Interesting. I, I, I think feel- the committee is going to find that pretty interesting. Okay, take it back to the committee, I guess. I don't I know why I you will. came to my home. I guess I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. Uh, why don't we get to our next guest? He is a uh, self-proclaimed fan fra- favorite. Uh, I don't think you guys have ever been on the show with a fan favorite before. No, I know. That's yeah, really so this exciting. is very exciting. So uh, let's just get to him. He is, uh, as we said before, a professional dirtbag, although I don't know whether he's in a professional capacity these days. Mm-hmm. Uh, please welcome Rudy North. How are you doing, Scott? Hey, I'm great. I'm doing good. Hey, how you doing, Thomas? How you doing, Mr. Wayne? Hi, Rudy. Not coming in uh, as hot as usual. Well, I did want to say, I'm coming in pretty hot. You are coming (laughs) in hot? I am coming in hot. Okay. But before I come in hot, I need... uh, Hold on. We got to take it We got to handle this. We got to handle this. We got to handle this. Okay. Previously on Comedy Bang Bang. (laughs) So, I'm a dirtbag, and I'm from Florida. I moved to to Los Angeles and I took a Lyft driver's job and then I took a Target a security guard's job and when he and says then, he took a job meaning someone had yeah, that job and you punched them I in, punched the them in the, I oh throat I throat punched them and then I took their identity and took their job <laughs> right uh, please. I moved my way effective. throat punching can be effective I did it to my yoga teacher it's, it's a great it's a dirt bag <laughs> handshake and then uh, you know I went through many jobs also I'm immortal and I have magical powers And yeah, we, we've never gone into and, that and we did go into the speed force the last time I was here Scott and become oh, best right. friends <laughs> thank you. So, By the way, my best friend Rudy North yeah, here. So, uh, you know. thank you for reminding me of all of this. Uh, you're one of the only people to come in. One of the only guests to come and in and recap. remind me. Yeah, which I honestly appreciate. <laughs> it's, it's, I know it's a lot, Scott. <laughs> no, I, I get it. The Speed Force. We yeah. went into the Speed Force. You know, uh, uh, Barry Allen, the yeah, Flash. I occasionally, have, we'll go into it. Yeah. It's the I have the oh. powers of the Flash. This I thought that was maybe in. a new branch of the military. Am I right? Topical. <laughs> 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 Very nice. Very nice. Thomas, I'm going to ask you to refrain from those kinds of jokes. You uh, <laughs> 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 it's not that kind of show, Thomas. And by the yeah. way, I just wanted to be reminded because I, of course, listen. Every of course, you do. Oh, okay. Yes, I just want to catch up some of the other fans. But uh, so yeah, but I. I am coming in hot, Scott, because you I got... You are coming in hot. Because, Scott, I got a new job. <laughs> oh, that's a parody of... Uh, I got a new... The, t- the like Huford Lewis song. Yeah, the Huford Lewis song, um, <laughs> I Have Some New Drugs. <laughs> right. So, would anyone like some of my new drugs? Would anyone like some new drugs? <laughs> but I Ghostbusters. Do, Ghostbusters. It's similar to Ghostbusters. It's very... Yeah, yeah uh, we don't want to get a lawsuit We don't want to get no lawsuits. You guys already seem you like know, to Lu- be in a lot Lewis, of legal Lewis trouble. would be nothing without the news, but we know that. We know, yeah. yeah, well, yeah I mean, or too. Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm going to start right. calling him Lewis B. Nothing. That sounds like a funny... <laughs> Lewis. I really wish you wouldn't. Okay, I would. You're right, Scott. Uh, so you, but you have a new. I do have a new position. job, Scott. I do have a new job. I was walking down the street and just the other day. I was walking down the street just the other day. Wow! And I, you saw a pretty lady. You truly, didn't know what to say. I truly, walk into that every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I was walking down the street, Scott, and I was walking past a donut shop. Okay, some of us oh. do this. I don't know if you guys Bless have ever done this. Jonas is smelling fresh. I gotta say, like, if I'm ever walking down the street just the other day mm-hmm. and I'm smelling donuts and I don't know what to say, you, I nah, know there must be a donut there shop. There must be a donut shop. You know, I walk past the donut shop. Either that or a seizure coming on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. I'm worried about seizures. Sometimes it's warm toast. I go right to my phone and order donuts on Amazon whenever I do that. Sure, oh, yeah. Amazon donuts. I want some Get them fresh delivered. Amazon donuts. If you have Prime, that's like maybe two, two three, four days. I got it. I got Amazon. On fresh, so yeah. it's it's really one day. Whoa, that's right, Scott. You know, you're a person like me, you get Amazon fresh. This guy, okay, this guy's a fan favorite. But I was, 
But, uh, <laughs> so you're on the street, donuts. So I'm on the street, there's donuts, and I hear. Do we I, need to recap this story I here? Think we might need to. We're, previously on Comedy Bang. Catch Comedy us up Bang to Bang. where we are. I was walking down the street just the other day. Okay. I smelled some donuts, and I heard a splish splash sound, Scott. Oh, was anyone taking a bath? <laughs> well, that's what I thought. So I looked around. I said, "Hey, is anyone taking a bath? Are you taking a bath?" The lady said, "No." Okay. I said, "Are you taking a bath?" The guy said no. Okay, is, he ta- a- is he taking a bath? <laughs> Remember that? Are you taking a bath? From Extras? Yeah, funny. Yeah. Extras yeah. is a great show, man. Yeah, that's great. Who was, who was you the You should have been guy? on that. HBO show, obviously. Well, no. It's no, BBC Showtime. Show. Sure, but it was aired no, on uh, oh, it was aired on Showtime. It was yeah, on no, Showtime. It, it, it's if BBC. you don't mind. Just, sure, originally. Let's but. just tread. Uh, Jimmy Gervais is actually a friend, so just. Oh, he is. Jimmy's a good show. friend of yours? Just in case it veers into something. Okay, sure. We'll sidestep this, definitely. Donuts, taking a bath. Okay, so I turned around, Scott. And I saw the owner of this donut shop. Owner of a donut, donut shop. shop. <laughs> yes. Another yes. Huford Lewis song. Oh, well, I thought we were doing uh, uh, yes. I thought we were doing yes. You no. thought we were doing yes. Huford Lewis song. No, but yes. what band were we doing? Yes. Yes, we were. I, yes, but I want to know what band <laughs> no. you're talking about. Yes. Yes, I want to know the name of man, the band. Man, third base. Who's on yes, man? Okay, anyway, so I, I, I turned around and I saw the owner of this donut shop. <laughs> okay. And he was So you turned this, around, so you were <laughs> facing was, away I, from the donut shop. I was shop. looking into traffic. Smell, <laughs> smell works reverse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you know, ears they pick up stuff behind but us because they're on the side of the exactly. head. But noses, Stop. they should only pick up what's in front of you. I didn't listen to this kid at a natural geographic lesson. <laughs> Sorry, Thomas. Thomas. Right. He Sorry. didn't listen to get Sorry, a natural Thomas. geographic. Sorry, Thomas. So anyways, I turned around, Scott, and I saw my new job. The owner of this donut shop was spraying down the sidewalk with a hose. Oh. And he was, I guess, cleaning it, or I'm not sure exactly. I probably, maybe he was watering probably it. Probably watering the sidewalk. Cleaning. It yeah, seems yeah. like they're getting very little dirt off the sidewalk, but right. it's, it's an easy job. Sure. So, so I walked over and I said, sir, do you own this California donut? And he it said- It was a California donut. It was a California donut. Okay. Did I leave that out? Yeah, yeah, I believe you did. <laughs> oh, wow, that's important. <laughs> okay. I said, sir, do you own this California donuts? And he said, well, why, of course I do, young man. And he How know. old was he? He, 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 he was, thought you were a young he man. He was 60. He doesn't know that I'm over 600 years old. <laughs> right, yeah. <okay. laughs> well, you look fab. I thank you. I have How a board. How could he know? Because so few people are. It's true. Yeah. He probably has no relatives. He has no idea. And and uh, I should say for listeners, because mm-hmm. they can't see you, mm-hmm. you have not aged oh, no, uh, no, no. Uh, like 600 years. Oh, so no, you're, I'm you're... like Richard from Lost. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a great way of putting it. <laughs> I am like Richard from Lost. Okay. But what about Dick Clark? This guy always looks young. That's oh, true. That's true. Dickie C. Dickie C always will, looking young. Will he ever age? Well, especially with his plastic surgery. You think yeah, he's doing plastic surgery years. still? Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. I think, I think they go in and they <laughs> apply some. Every couple of years. I thought it was young. a natural thing. I heard he that doing. before he goes on TV, he goes into a, a room and they put like makeup and stuff on his face. What? what? Okay, I don't know. Weird. That would be crazy. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't, I don't like, like that. that. I, I hope that's makes not a true story. Obviously not true. I'm just saying I heard it. It just okay. makes me uncomfortable. I'm not sure that I'll yeah. be able to watch him again. Jeez, Hollywood. So now right? yeah. this, this California donuts owner, mm-hmm. he thinks you're a young man. Yes. He tells you he owns the donut shop. And, and, and I said, oh, excuse me, sir. And then I punch him in the throat. Wow. wow. How did he take this? Perfect. Well, he choked. Is he, yeah. Is he going to see 61? Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead. Yes, God, I punched him and I absorbed his life force. Okay. So- Currently, I'm the owner of a California Donuts. <laughs> Have you ever talked about you absorbing <laughs> the life forces oh of these people? Wait, so is he? No. Is he? You have dark living, rituals, man. Is he living in you, Scott, or is he Scott. dead? Like, yeah. I really want to talk Look, about my new job. We Scott. Ha- we, I don't know that we have time Why to get you, into the job. You have incredible sorcerer powers, <laughs> and you're owning a California Donut well, shop. I'm, I'm not really paying attention to the donut part. I don't really have any more donuts in there. I really just hose it down the sidewalk. You just want to hose down. The yeah, sidewalk. that was the thing that was appealing to me. That is why people beginning. generally buy donut shops. So you could yeah. own a part of the sidewalk. And yeah, that's city. I realize, need to tell you that's city property. Yeah, mm-hmm. and do you realize that the the hosing down the sidewalks mm-hmm. is an essentially an employee of the donut shop, or or so, the owner trying to get or, people to come into the donut shop because the sidewalk is dirty, and if you think dirty sidewalk. Uh, donut must not be. Uh, I do yeah. not want to go into the donut shop. Well, can, shop. I, can I just shop. tell you? Yes. That now that you are the owner of the donut shop, owner of a donut, donut shop, shop. Oh, 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 oh. you <laughs> are <laughs> paying yourself okay. with what money? 
Yeah. The money you make from, from selling, selling the donuts. donuts. Or paying and yourself from, in donuts. And the money you make from hosing down the side. No, yeah. that, that's the no, money that, that I was expected to get. But that comes from the donut uh-huh. man. Oh, so but, I have to make donuts? You got to make I mean, you've donuts. absorbed the life force, apparently, of the guy who made donuts, so it should be second nature. Are you saying donuts. it's time to make the donuts? It's time to make the donuts. <laughs> oh, 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 Speaking of other commercials that I am sick of, who yeah. is this guy always, don't squeeze the Charmin. I oh, am sick and tired. tired. Who's this guy oh, like Verizon is? Uh, <laughs> the largest, most reliable 4G LTE <laughs> network in America. Who is that guy? Who is that guy? What is he thinking? <laughs> It's so, Susie Baird or wow, so you're trapped in a donut shop. I guess now. I have to. Damn it, I didn't think about that, guys. Now I own a donut shop. That it's just, was not what I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, but you own it. I, I mean, was looking for a dirtbag job where I just do something that wastes water on the street <laughs> and isn't really helpful. Well, don't talk about wasting waters with uh, these guys. Oh, we can't well, you know, talk Mark about Spitz that. Really not, and Spitz. Spitz. He's addicted, uh, but we CD can't call 100. him. Yeah, it's not CD a good 100. time for me to get into Well, this is, ter- this is terrible, Rudy. Well, damn, now I feel like I'm in some sort of monkey's paw situation where I got my dream job, but now. Now I gotta make friggin' donuts. Well, not monkey spawn, more like bear claw. Bear claw. <laughs> <laughs> David. <laughs> All right, look, we need, we need to take a break, if that's okay. Oh, there's a whoops. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good sound hey, effect. Hey, thanks for using my sound <laughs> no problem. All right, you got to pay him a little money for that. Oh, there they're royalty-free. They're yeah. on SoundCloud. All right, we need to take a break. I get two glazed from me. All right, <laughs> when we come back, I love a glaze. We're going to have Brody Broderson, California native, is going to be here. We'll be right back with Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Do you find yourself distracted, young person or old person? Do you find yourself forgetting things? Do you find yourself making mistakes at work? Oh no! You got this has got to end. You got to get your life together. Well, look, I have a tip for you. Uh, it's a little feature on this show we like to call uh, Scott's tip. <laughs> Scott's just the tip. Uh, a quality night's sleep makes all. The difference and the right mattress is the difference between resting and laying down for a little bit. You know, you got to get that rest. You got to get, look, I've always said it. A good night's sleep is at least 16 hours. 16, 17 hours, you're ready for the day. And And then the days aren't so long. As well. You ever like dreading the day the next day and you're like, oh, I can't, I can't believe I have to do this. Look, when you when you sleep for 20 hours, your day is only four hours. There's nothing to dread there. Anyone can do four hours. And Lisa mattresses make all the difference in that. The Lisa mattress is the product of more than 30 years of experience in mattress engineering and hundreds of hours of testing. They're comprised of three foam layers. And I've talked about these three foam layers a lot. We all know they provide cooling pressure relief, body contouring support, and we also all know that 300,000 happy Lisa sleepers agree that Lisa mattresses give them the rest that they need. So what can we all agree on now? Well, we can agree that if you order your Lisa mattress online at lisa.com slash bangbang with promo code bangbang, you can try it risk-free for 100 nights. That's 100 nights. If you sleep 20 hours a day, that's uh, uh, 2,000 hours of sleep. You're going to wear that thing out before you give it back. Um, The Lisa mattress ships direct to your door in a convenient box with free shipping and free returns. Find the right mattress for you at lisa.com slash bangbang and get the rest that you need tonight. I have a Lisa. I sleep on it every night unless I... And traveling the world for some reason. I would love to bring it with me, honestly. I hate hotel mattresses. They're so hard. Lisa's soft. I love it. It contours around me. It's perfect. Get up to $160 off the Lisa mattress or $235 off the luxury Sapira mattress and free shipping on the Lisa mattress at lisa.com slash bangbang. And enter promo code BANGBANG at checkout. That is L-E-E-S-A dot com slash BANGBANG, promo code BANGBANG. (laughs) Money. Power. A great pair of boots? That doesn't belong in that sentence. Money, power, a great pair of boots. Well, I guess. I guess those are three things. Yeah, maybe the subject matter is three things. 
Money, power, a great pair of boots. Great. Yeah, you can have it all. How? Stop what you're doing. Whatever you're doing. I don't care. I don't care if you're a lifeguard and you're saving a little child who's drowning. Stop it. Go to the nearest computer. If you are a lifeguard, that's going to be tough. Drive to your aunt's house. I don't care. Open your internet browser and type in the following. Ready? Here we go. Thursday. That's a tough word to spell. Wednesday is a little harder. But thursdayboots.com. That's T-H-U-R-S-D-A-Y-B-O-O-T-S dot com. Pick out your favorite pair of beautiful handcrafted boots. Add them to your cart. Click checkout. Fill out all of your personal information, and I mean all of it. And click purchase. It is that easy. Money, power, and a great pair of boots will all be yours. And yes, results may vary, particularly regarding the money and the power part of the equation, but you will definitely have a great pair of boots. This year, get a pair of boots that will last season after season. We're talking summer and fall at least. Get a pair of boots handcrafted with the highest quality materials and sold at honest prices. Get a pair of Thursday boots. Head on over to thursdayboots.com. Money, power, and a great pair of boots are now only a click away. Comedy Bang Bang back here with David Wayne, uh, who has been drawing the entire time. Uh, uh, One of his famous. Now, I've been looking at your Instagram and you uh, have been drawing a lot and making uh, a lot of your great. I'm I'm becoming a full time Instagrammer. Yes, you've been drawing, doing special effects videos. uh, It's about the brand. Uh, I've I've been wondering where do you find the time to do any of (laughs) these things that you do? But Um, then, but what I noticed was today you were approximately eight minutes late and I said, oh, that's how he does it. Right. He's just eight minutes late here, eight minutes late there. Eight and that's minutes how here and there adds up. Next thing you know, you got an extra hour. <laughs> no, the truth is, I have two children, uh, and mm-hmm. I have um, you know lots of work stuff that I do. And so, in order to make sure I attend to neither of those things, <laughs> you I, do this uh, instead. <laughs> spend a lot of time doing magic tricks and uh, making little songs and um, mm-hmm. other stupid things. So, a wonderful and Instagram and account. Can we say what the account is titled? Or uh, it's not hundred percent the kind of thing that I like to <laughs> advertise uh, but, here uh, on an open forum. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, let's just let me say it in code. Okay. At, at at D A V I D okay. W A I N. Okay, so if you can mm. kind of crack this code, if maybe yeah. the Navajos could come in and do some of their code breaker stuff, you well, know. Don't forget, uh, Nell had her own language. Oh, yeah. What know? was it? Aga Aga. I don't know. That's the I, thing. I couldn't even decipher it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure it out. At D A V. Okay, hold on. David D. Mm-hmm. At. Rudy North is here with us, professional dirtbag, right, donut need shop a, owner, yeah. life force uh, usurper. Stealer, yeah. Old, all around wizard. I'm going to need to take some time to figure out that Instagram. Yeah. But, uh, at David. All okay. right. Maybe we can get it by the end of the show. Maybe. Though. By the way, I I'll have try. an offer for the listeners of Comedy Bang Bang. Oh, okay. Uh, mm. The podcast. This um, one right now. Mm-hmm. If you go to my Instagram, uh, at David Wayne. Uh, Whatever that happens to be. Right. And the first person, mm. the first uh, 700 people to log into and check out my account. Uh, they will log into your account? Your password you know, to, to, to go on into the account. Okay. okay. They log and, into their uh, own accounts. And subscribe. Um, uh, we'll receive uh, a David Wayne branded uh, gift set. Um, gift set? Mm-hmm. What, yeah, what is that exactly? It's a exactly? t-shirt. It's uh, okay. jeans. Uh, it's shoes. <laughs> Okay. Um, it's, how, how are the jeans identifiably David Wayne? I mean, they have my just, brand. You know, I remember Jordash. Right. Sure, yeah, like, Jordash on the pockets. Always like, the Jordash. Look, I'm sick and tired of that one, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nothing then, comes between me and my Jordash. Right. Wow. And then you also get a bicycle. And, um, a bicycle, wow. And then every month you get a crate of oranges. Oh, okay. So the first 700. So what about the people who are already on that account? Uh, you're going to have to... Come log back, out. Log out and then come back in. Log back in. And then all you have to do to get the gift set is you write me a little three by five card okay. uh, with your name uh, and address. On Instagram? Mm-hmm. Uh, and a self addressed stamped envelope. And mail that to you. <laughs> and mail that to me. That. Oh, okay. Self-ad- and when you say envelope, enough to fit a crate of oranges in. No, just the, yeah, not, you don't, obviously, I'm going to give you the oranges. You just send me the crate. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. So an envelope, when you say self-addressed stamped envelope. An envelope big enough to put the bicycle and the, <laughs> right. oran- the, the oranges and all the clothes. Okay, got yeah. it. Great. Uh, we also had Thomas Middleditch, but he left, uh, which is unfortunate because uh, I was really looking forward to talking to him more nice about uh, next. Yeah. 
Yeah. As dudes go, he's nice-ish. Uh, but we do have a, a guest that we have to get to. This is uh, exciting. He's been very patient uh, waiting uh, here in the wings. And uh, he is a California native. Uh, please welcome Brody Broderson. Hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's great. Yeah, awesome. Sick. <laughs> going really good. Yeah, awesome. Sick. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I've just been here. I, I was like, you know, waiting in the corners, <laughs> listen, listening to you guys, man. It was awesome. It was so funny. You like it? Is yeah. It, yeah. I know you guys are doing great. This is a positive guy. Yeah, yeah I man. Like I always keep positive. Yeah, I love it. Because you, you have to. You know, so many things are, you know, you're, you're a real bummer. And everything's, you know, get, try to get you down. Yeah, no, life can be grim. Right. Life's so grim. Life's real dark. It's a great yeah. way to look at things. Hide, yeah. the, hide the Nike shoelaces. Hide the Nike shoelaces in mm-hmm. the in the in the red bag. Mm-hmm. Throw that in the trash. <laughs> Make sure you wash your hands. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's a great point. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. So uh, you're a California native. Yeah, Simi Valley. Simi Valley. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I mean, that's like, that's within the state, so. Yeah, of course it is, man. Yeah. What was yeah. it like growing up here? It was sunny. Uh, you know, I love California. There's palm trees. You know, I always hang tan. I, you know. <laughs> okay, so Dude. sunny, palm trees, and yeah. hang tan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, no, if, before you ask me, uh, yeah, I know how to surf. And before you ask me, yeah, I know how to longboard. Okay, okay. those are two different things? I didn't know. Yeah. What is the difference between them? I guess. Well, I longboard, skateboard. Oh, oh, right, I right. thought I thought you were talking about the length of the surfboard. No, I have to. I can only shortboard surfboard. Oh, okay, you, nothing long. No, longboard, skateboard, shortboard, surfboard. Got it. Right? Got it. It's longboard, easy. Yeah. longboard, yeah. skateboard, shortboard, surfboard. A lot of people are actually like me. It's Owner of a longboard, skateboard, shortboard, surfboard, skateboard. <laughs> that is exactly why I can't listen to this podcast. <laughs> you don't listen to it, <laughs> no, sir. But, but you, you were said you were having it. fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, here in the studio, it's super but, fun. Yeah, as an oral medium. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, yeah. But I, then again, I get to you know watch it. I get to watch you guys smile and having a good time. Oh, okay, what, uh, so uh, if you're a listener, try to imagine smiling. Yeah, that'll yeah, help yeah. out. Yeah. Oh god. Do you? Trust so me. do you hang out a lot at the beach? Do you go to like beach barbecues and stuff? I can't now, just because you know my skin's ultra sensitive to the UV rays. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, yeah. that's terrible for someone who. In California, dude, you're telling me, man. I mean, I can't. Do you have I, sun poisoning, or I, he's telling you? He just said it. Yeah. <laughs> the hell. <laughs> sorry, David. Sorry, David. I'm, yeah. Hey, man, David, you gotta calm David, down, man. You gotta chill out a no, little bit, man. You gotta have a little dirtbag energy right now. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I, mean, I thought you were apologizing to me because of what he did. No, no. It's, uh, uh, you, you've got big dick energy right now. Yeah, you, you really. You know, calm you down. need dirtbag energy. All right, yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. Sorry. I, I, we, sorry. We apologize, yeah, it's fine. Bro. It's totally fine. No, thank no, you. Honestly, cool, man. really, honestly, thank sorry you. Sorry about your skin, man. That's yeah. yeah. It's okay. Terrible. It's okay. What, do you have sun poisoning? Are you? Cr- is it cracking? Is it what? What exactly? Well, I mean, there is some. There is some sort of. Uh, I guess. Yeah, cracking is the term. I like to call it separation of skin <laughs> and air filling in between. Oh my gosh! But, I've heard uh, of the separation of church and state, <laughs> but this is politics. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what that means, but uh, yeah, there. What happens is. Uh, <laughs> Especially mid midday, so we're what sure, are we coming up is, on? What are we coming up on? Still in the morning here? Yeah, yeah. coming up uh, on like 11, 11.30. 11, 11.30, yeah. 11, mm-hmm. I got 10.56. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> are you okay? okay? No, you I'm right? fine. I'm fine. Uh, anyway. Are you crying? No. I mean, I can't technically cry as normal humans do. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Are you so not human? Do we have another no. superhuman in the room? <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm, I'm human. Trust you're just me. a, a you're human. abnormal human. I'm, I see. I'm, nor- I'm a you're regular a, you're guy. You're like a mutant. No, I'm a regular guy. <laughs> I wish your I was skin mutant. is really sensitive. My skin's really sensitive. It does crack in UV rays. I have to put ointment on. Mm. Otherwise, the air to blood mixture ratio mm. will invert, and my blood will become air. Okay? Oh, oh you don't want okay. that. Air gets through my skin. Will, you, okay? will the air that you condition. breathe become blood? Huh? Will the air you breathe become blood? Yeah, I'll drown. I'll drown <laughs> standing up in air. Oh, wow. Do you understand? Ter- I but, but understand. As a surfer, completely. aren't you excited to catch air? Mm. As a, no, as a longboarder, you catch air. Do you no, sur- I, <laughs> Scott. Yeah. Longboard, skateboard, shortboard, yeah. surfboard. Yeah. But when you oh, but Long- when you're skateboarding, I thought you catch air. Not on a longboard, dude. Longboard Sorry. is about speed. Wait, so and, you, can, and, and, you yeah. can't <laughs> surf then because of the sun? Is that? The- I have not surfed in about two months. Oh, wow. Because this is a recent doesn't seem, condition. It doesn't seem long to me. <laughs> it's yeah. a real recent condition. There's a lot of things I love to do that I haven't done in two months. <laughs> no, but man, you, when, you, when you live, yeah. dude, when you live essentially on the water, when you like, as I have in Simi Valley. In Simi Valley? <laughs> 
<laughs> do you do you is there some is, is it an indoor pool? <laughs> yeah, what exactly? Like a wave pool? What is your situation? Where do you live? I I still live in Simi Valley, although yeah. close near to Sequoia National Forest. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Do you live with your folks or what? Oh uh, no, I've actually been off the grid for a while. It's oh. been a new thing I'm trying out to go off the grid. Off the power grid, off, off the, the power grid. Yeah. I am living illegally in Sequoia National Forest. Oh, okay. And I got some gardens there. I'm growing zucchinis, I'm growing eggplants, I'm growing potatoes, and I'm growing onions. And that is my diet. That's so <laughs> you only eat those four things. Wow. That might have something to do with your skin condition. <laughs> yeah. uh, how long have how, you been on this diet? Uh, how, how could it? Okay, let me ask you. Okay, are these uh, vegetables grown with any uh, preservatives okay. or oxides or any of your fancy okay. uh, Dos are, Santos? Uh, it, it's, I don't think it's about the yeah. things you're eating. I think it's about the lack of other things that yeah, you may be getting. Yeah, it's a limiting nutritional <laughs> Yeah. Range like what am I missing, Mister Scientist? Vitamin C. Mm -hmm. What's that in? Oranges. Uh, have you ever heard of scurvy? Well, you can't grow oranges in California. No. I don't know if you know this. I could send you a crate of oranges. Uh, okay, oh, yeah, I, I'd love that. Yeah. Would you sign up to his Instagram? Uh, I would <laughs> love to. I How big of an without... envelope do you own? <laughs> I'm currently without envelope, and I'm currently without a cell phone. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Do you have TiVo work at least? Yeah, of course, okay, man. Then, then we can hook you up. No, but, uh, but so TiVo wait. brand, not a DVR. Yeah, I know. So you're off the grid, but you're a loyal TiVo you're, customer. You're, okay, uh, good. You're off the grid, but you have TiVo? Heck yeah, man. <laughs> Dude, you, you understand, that's the beauty of nature, that's man. True, that's the that's beauty true. of these yeah. sequoia trees. That they is only, the beauty. <laughs> they, 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 they only open up during uh, 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 forest fires, all right? So you've got to right. have the heat right. in order to open them up. And what you right. can do is you can cross-branch them, okay? So you okay. cross-branch. You breed these branches to touch, and they actually antennas, all right? Got so Got you're it. in there, you're in the tree, right? So I'm open it. up kind of like a... You live in the trees. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah man. I'm not going to build property on a natural forest. Hey, man, you're sounding less and less like a surf guy, man. I'm not. I'm California native. You know, California's a pretty big state, dude. I know. It's huge. All man. right. And all I'm saying is, you, you, here's what I do. I wait for the forest fires. I right. cook my meals, okay? I'm okay. talking about grilled zucchini, yeah. grilled eggplant, so you grilled grill onion. Yeah, I grill them, man. What about the potatoes? You grill the potatoes? I grill the potatoes, dude. Dude. Okay, great, great. Sorry, I feel so, like I'm getting attacked. So, you're okay. Dude, so again, you're only eating when a forest fire happens? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to eat these things raw. <laughs> this is, something is raw. You need to get your malnutrition. Yeah. You know, no. Like, I, how, I, how, I, off, how often then do you eat? There is, uh, there's forest fires year round now, thanks to me. Okay. okay. You wait, you're, oh, setting, to you. you're setting the forest fires. I got to eat, don't I? <laughs> wait, how many times a day are you setting forest fires? I am... Currently traversing the entire state, setting as many forest fires as I can. That's probably oh. not the best idea. Okay. Are you and saying blaming it on climate change? <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying there's a forest Wait, so fire right now that you started with your name on it? Uh, yeah, you could, you could, you could look at the forest fire, Cal State forest fire map. And you're saying that that is the inconvenient truth. <laughs> All I'm saying so is, so climate change doesn't exist. Hey, dude's got to eat. <laughs> So, that's an true. inconvenient Big truth gotta three, bark. dude's got to eat. I guess that's true. <laughs> Big dog's got to bark, dude's got to eat. I have oh. to say there's something encouraging about this, because if that's really the cause, then I feel like the solution is more in reach than I thought Yeah, it was. I mean, yeah, I was very like, alarmed uh, oh, when I, super I thought it would be, attainable. I thought read those articles. Was far and, more complicated yeah. than this. Yeah, no, it's just this dude setting. All you, all you got to do is stop me somehow. <laughs> okay. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to use my flash powers to put out these fires. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Oh. oh okay, man. so they're all, they're all out. There goes my out. kitchen. Sorry. I put them out because I, I, I thought it was for I thought it was climate change, and I thought they got to learn so the lesson. So we just send you, this guy some grilled eggplant. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can. Why like, did you set one before you came in here? Is that like preheating the oven? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you got to get it toasty before you get roasty. I'll tell you what. I dropped up. <laughs> not, a, not a joke. Whoa, that was a real... <laughs> Stop! Stop laughing like that. <laughs> this is not surfer guy. It was fun. <laughs> it was a fun rhyme, honestly. <laughs> it was a fun rhyme, but I'm scared of you now. <laughs> so, so, some has anyone tried to stop you? Do you have an adversary? Yeah, there's a uh, well. There's like, a you whole know, team. you know the the movie The Fugitive. There was a Harrison Ford who was the fugitive. Yeah, titular that's not fugitive. my arm, dude. Yeah, but I don't you, care. The, yeah, then this guy, the Tommy Lee Jones, uh, he was the guy who didn't care. <laughs> Those two famous quotes. Yeah. yeah, that's not my arm, dude. I, I, I don't, don't care. care. Slow down, because. Both good friends of mine. So just sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll tiptoe around this, okay. but uh, do you have anyone who's chasing you? 
Yeah, I got a whole team, dogs. Uh, they've been trained to <laughs> capture my scent, and they're more, uh, you know. <laughs> they've been trained just to capture your scent. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. That's what dogs do. Yeah, they capture scent. No, man. but they change, they're, they're trained to capture my scent. Oh, whole okay. Pack, there's about 27 mm. miniature pinchers that are out to get me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Mini so, pinchers. <laughs> Yeah, min pins. That sounds pretty cute, actually. <laughs> yeah. You know, 27 I, miniature pinchers. Yeah. They're called the Dirty 27. <laughs> they're, wow. They're so right they have an official the FBI, dude. Oh, okay. Wow. So if one were to make a movie about these pinchers, it would be called the Dirty 27, probably. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to put you on the spot or bore the audience, and at the mm-hmm. risk of doing both, could I have the names of both of all the 27 pinchers? Oh, that would be great to know. <laughs> oh, I wish. I mean, okay. <laughs> All right, what do we as got? As far as I know, okay. <laughs> yeah, you and now you've never met these pinchers. But I mean, I've seen them. You know, a lot right. of the times, running away from. I've them. been I've been lighting the blaze, man. Getting mm-hmm. gnarly on the blaze. That's out of surf. Okay, good. I've just been gnarling <laughs> out on the blaze. Okay, okay. And sure. I look, and beyond the flames, they're sitting there waiting, licking their lips. Oh, can't but they wait can't to, cross the flames. Yeah, because they're min pins. Right. Okay. They're not fire retardant, although they are don't retardant. Use, don't use that word, please. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, what are the names? Well, you got Macy, Lacey, <laughs> Kingpin, That's Doglin, three, four. Doglin, <laughs> Shunt, Bunt, Cunt. <laughs> that was controversial. Okay. Louise, with a K. Marfa, Texas, <laughs> okay. Shoestring, mm-hmm. Asbestos. <laughs> Kingpin 2. Yeah, put it <laughs> Kingpin 2. <laughs> You're getting close. Uh, Ace Ventura. <laughs> John John. Milo Milo. Miley Cyrus. I've lost track at this point, but go ahead. I was 26 so yeah. far. Okay. 26. Hoopty. Hoopty. That was 27? I don't know. That can't be. I think that's only uh, 18. No, that was 19. Oh, 19. 19. Uh, uh, Cooch. Cooch, Cooter, Cooter. N- <laughs> a lot of uh, these, a lot of these dogs have nicknames for female genitalia. Anus, clit, Anus. what? Clit, uh, labia, <laughs> vulva, o- vulva, ovaries, and then one Flapping more. Barn doors, um, and then the last one is pubic mouth. Stank puss. <laughs> wow, stank puss is a ringleader. She's always up my craw, <laughs> leaving notes like, "We know where you are." Well, if you know where I am, come find me. Wow, the dog. Dog leaves notes? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> All I know is I get a note and it's scrawled and there's a little paw print. Yeah, so. they're trained by the FBI. <laughs> hashtag you do the math. <laughs> All right, so All right. if you're out there on Twitter or Instagram, hashtag you do the math right now. And Especially uh, if there's any like math majors out there. Sure, we'd love to hear from send you. Send in your ideas. Yeah. The lines are open right now, I think. Can okay. I say, Brody, I, I thought you were going to come in here and maybe talk about the water and maybe we'd be able to talk about it. So you, you talked about the diametric opposite of that. Right? Yeah. yeah, man. Well, look. Heat, heat from the sun has cursed me. All right. right yeah. Right. Due to your diet. <laughs> Dude, no, man. I'm okay. living my life, man. Okay. Okay. You mm-hmm. want to put your box on me? I'm gonna break free. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Should we take a call and just see what the? <laughs> uh, yeah. Audience, sure, audience man. Anyone? Yeah. You want to take a call? Live. Yeah. You're all set for this. How? <laughs> Someone on the line right now. Hello. Oh, that line too. Yes. Uh, Hello. Uh, you're on the air. Uh, uh, hey, what's going on? You have a question for Brody? Uh, it's more of a statement that okay. I'm going to disguise like a question. Okay. Uh, you know, and just tell you my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you know. Okay, just try to keep it brief. Okay, but does it have to end in uh, like end in a question mark? Like uh, end my voice going up? Yeah, at least that would just, be great. At least with the ex- the intonation of a question. Why don't you ask my name? I'm sorry? Oh, yeah, what's, what's your name? name? The only name? reason I called in is because I want to say my name on the radio. You're uh, shouting. Okay, uh, what's what your name? Mean, what the fuck do you mean by that? <laughs> You're screaming in your phone. Uh, ma'am, if yeah. you could turn your radio down. I thought it's very loud in yeah, here. Turn okay. your radio down. I have down. all my radios up. Yeah, okay. no, no, turn all your radios down because then it all won't get back. Yeah. You can get <laughs> this on the radio? I yeah. This yeah. Well, I'm not listening to this on the radio. I'm listening to Easy Hits. Scott, did you screen this person before they I'm came I'm sorry. Yeah, no, we don't have a call screener here. Let's go back to the call. Just talk to her. Hey! 
Yeah. yeah just tell, okay, what, what's, what's your, your name? name and what's your listener status? My name is uh, Martha. Uh huh. Oh, cool. Uh, we have I a dog. dog. <laughs> dog. No, no, no. Is no. Name Martha. Martha, idiot. Oh, Martha. Okay. okay. Close. Not Martha, Texas. Close. Close. One of the FBI agents. I'm sure people make fun of you all the time. Like, hey, you're from. You're, are you Martha, Texas? I've never heard that before, but I do work for the FBI. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. And, uh huh. Uh. And my uh, question. Owner kill. My question <laughs> is: Is uh, you know, is it gonna be terrible when we catch you and put you in prison? Huh. Ooh. I'd like to see. Bye, bye, boy. I don't think she was with now. The I can't FBI. believe anything she said. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it could have been a man. I don't know, but it's still just always good to take a couple calls. Yeah, you, it right. always is good. Always good. Look, we need you're to right. take a break. When we come back, uh, we're gonna continue talking to Brody Broderson. I mm-hmm. hope. Can you stick around? Because I'd love to hear more about your life. Are you kidding me? I'd love to. It's nice to get out of the elements. And Rudy, I don't know that we have time to get into some of your details. No, as much. we can't. <laughs> it's, it's very long. But yeah, you I mean, know, but Brody is so fascinating. Yeah, we gotta talk to Brody. I'll yeah. sprinkle in what I can, but we gotta talk to Brody. <laughs> I appreciate that. We'll be right back with Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Are you guys ready for an advertisement in which I believe I'm being encouraged to use a curse word? Well, here it comes. Support for today's show comes from Marine Layer. All right, Marine Layer makes comfortable, stylish, and distinctive clothes that make getting dressed in the morning easy. Okay, and seriously, when Marine Layer says their stuff is soft, uh, yeah, I think they mean it's soft. <laughs> it's not like, uh, oh, this feels nice soft. It's, and here comes the curse word, because they, they write, it's holy sh hashtag uh, percentage, which I believe is meant to, to say the, the S word. So I'm just going to say it if that's okay. I don't know. But I think they're encouraging me to do it. It's not just, oh, this feels nice, soft. It's holy sh... I don't even want to say it. I'm afraid. What if they get mad? I don't... I'm just going to go for it. It's not just, oh, this is, feels nice, soft. It's holy shit. How did they make this? I'm never taking this shit off soft. Wow. Well, this is partially because of the micromodal that's found in Marine Layer's signature fabric. It's made from recycled beech wood which makes their California-made teas sustainable and eco-friendly. But look, they have more than just soft T-shirts. They also have men's and women's hoodies. That's what I got. Polos, pants, shorts, button-downs, and swimwear. I got a hoodie. I got some shirts. And they were not the S-word. Shit. They were not. They were great. I loved them. I wear that sweatshirt, literally every day. Go to marinelayer.com and you can be like me. You'll get 15% off your first order when you enter the promo code BANGBANG at checkout with free shipping and returns on all U.S. orders. You have got nothing to lose. That's marinelayer.com and enter promo code BANGBANG for 15% off your first order. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back. Uh, David Wayne of the uh, the state, the state. Yes, that's the what I was trying uh, to figure out. Tish, uh, film ninety one. Yes, and you asked a question uh, uh, of on, of uh, Kiss on, on uh, uh, the Geraldo show. Geraldo show. Yeah. By the way, Geraldo Rivera now lives in my hometown of Cleveland, Ohio. He does for some reason, for real, for real. And I went to some uh, like dinner party in Cleveland, uh, like it was a fundraiser thing. And sure, he is sure there. He was sure as shit. He was just right there. Did like, you, wow, that's Geraldo. Did you go up to him and say, hey, I asked a question uh, to Peter Stanley? Uh, uh, what's Paul his name? Paul Stanley. Hmm, yeah, Paul Stanley, so the, 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 the ace man. Yeah, Paul Stanley is the star man mm. from KISS. And when, I was, and when Geraldo was— The ace man, ace, uh, uh, ace uh, Adam Carolla. Is the, is, is the space man. <laughs> space man, space man. Okay, but, got uh, it. So I, and, and I put a little clip of me asking Paul Stanley a question in the, in the early 90s when I was— uh, or the late 80s when I used to go to those mm-hmm. talk shows in New York. But anyway, so here's the, here's the story, though, of when I saw yeah. uh, Geraldo recently. Oh, boy, here we come. So you I can't wait this? for this. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm with yeah. bated breath right now. So, oh, really so I'm I'm at the, I'm at this fundraiser thing as, as I said in Cleveland. There's Geraldo Rivera in yeah. person. And Previously on Comedy here Bang. I am, yeah, yeah. Previous. Here I am thinking oh, I met you know I didn't meet him but I you know I was in the yeah audience you were there all yeah. those years ago. So um, you know I, I did not uh, just didn't really talk to him and then I, and uh, and I went home. Wow! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> I'm gonna move. <laughs> 
<laughs> back from the edge of my seat, back onto the I get back on my seat, but I was, seat part. Wow. But I was gripping. Well, that's like when I first saw the movie Raiders of the Lost Ark, I was like, dun, 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 is, dun, is there dun, a back dun, of the seat? Dun, 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 yeah, I forgot dun, there was a back dun, to the seat because like I was There's at the edge the, the whole time. Yeah, wow. Thanks. Um, uh, we also have uh, Rudy North is here, of course. What's up, man? Uh, hey. Immortal who sucks life forces yes, out of Yes, but what? right now we're owning a California Donuts, and I say it's pissing me off. Yeah. He, he, uh, have you watched the sidewalk uh, today? Or? No, but I, I've already looked up some YouTube videos on how to make donuts, and that shit is hard, Scott. You yeah. own California Donuts? I, dude, do you like that? Do you like California Donuts? I love California. <laughs> you ever had a California Donut? I can't have donuts, man. Uh, why? Why not? Yeah. If I have a donut, the contents of my stomach will solidify and turn <laughs> rock hard, and I will not be able to excrete them. No, right. I don't know about that. That does not sound scientific. What is this? The, the sugar, sort of the chemicals in the sugar will I don't know. It's what, the, it's what the government's putting in our food. Yeah. It's what everybody's you know, trying to control us with and, and jam back or stewed with oh, all this stuff. Oh, God, are you all right? <laughs> You just coughed up a big zucchini. Yeah, poisoning us, man. That, how, lo how long ago did you eat that piece of zucchini, man? Because it doesn't look like it's digesting in your stomach. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if you can see with your eyes, but we don't happen to be in a forest fire right now, okay, so okay. I had to eat one raw whole. Okay. Oh, man. Well, uh, I, I you know, have you ever had, uh, do you drink water or anything like that? Or. Uh, I have a condition. <laughs> what? Well, this must be bad if you're a surfer. Yeah. yeah. There's so much water there. Where if I drink and fresh drink water, water, yeah, well, if I drink fresh water, my bones turn to salt. Because okay. Because my, my bones, uh, listen to me. I'm listening. We're, I'm listening. we're, we're, we're wrapped, all listening. Okay. Wrapped with attention. My bones are com are completely <laughs> salt based, and the water <laughs> will liquefy my bones. Oh no! Like like putting salt in water. Mm. Yeah, or water and you salt. <laughs> It's just or like that. Adding <laughs> salt to water. It's like or water to salt. That it's is a perfect like, analogy yeah. for what happened. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. so whereas most people are two thirds water, you're seventy eight percent. I'm zero percent so. water. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Just wow. But what percentage are you salt? Uh, wow. I don't know what percentage of your body is made of bones. I don't. Know. I guess. I don't know. Uh, like if, good, if, good you're, if you're like seventy percent water, <laughs> probably thirty like percent. I don't know. I don't think She's you're all water and bones. I don't you got know, skin dude. and blood. Yeah. I think you're probably like Eight percent, probably bones? eight or nine. Well, you know yeah. that old standby when you want to make fun of someone who's a little too thin, skin and bones. Uh, we've all heard yeah, that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I remember it. But yeah. we all know that in reality, it's other things too: eyes and nose and stuff. Yeah. Eyes yeah. and nose and fingers and toes and skin yeah, and skin and, skin and bones and skin and bones and blood and semen and right and <laughs> bile and shit. <laughs> well, wait, wait, speak for yourself on the semen thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, that is funny. No respect at all. No respect at all. <laughs> wow. So, so, so you haven't been able to surf. Although that's not fresh water; it's salt water. Yeah, man. But I could be. I could surf if it weren't for the sun. Oh, right. Right. Okay. You gotta. You gotta understand. There's a bit of rock paper scissors thing going on. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> sun beats sun salt beats water. Salt water. Got it. Salt water beats, beats fresh water. Fresh water. Got it. And fresh, fresh water, water beats, beats forest suns. fires. Oh, beats forest fires. Oh, so it's and a four forest way. fires. <laughs> Beat raw veg, raw veg, and Got raw be veg beats the sun. sun. Okay, Got that it. makes perfect sense. So five-way rock paper scissors. And you're growing raw veggies because the sun has been mean to you, so you're trying to beat the sun. Oh, I am man. super impressed that you're happy at all. Yeah, <laughs> very. Tough you seem close to death. Situation. Yeah, like anything could just tip you over the precipice. Hey man, you're only close to death if you sit still. True. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Is death, do, you, do you feel like death wow. is chasing you wow. across uh, the yeah. state of California? Death is chasing me in the form of 27, 27 miniature pinchers. <laughs> yeah. True, Shoestring, Kingpin hey, li 2. Life is not a dress rehearsal, as Paul Stanley said. That's yeah. That's, that's a great point. Beautiful. Like, you know, the minute we come out of those vaginas, it's like uh, showtime. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the vagina stuff, speak for yourself. Uh, I, huh. I did not. You know, you, oh, you came out of the stomach, the uh, cesarean? Let's just say I don't go near women's dirty parts like okay. that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. Is something going on with you?
with you? You said yeah. you don't have any semen. You say you don't go near hey, women's uh, dirty you parts. Gotta get into that sexy stuff. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. Okay. Yeah, I I have semen. I go near women's dirty parts. Yeah, I have I, semen I, as well. You got, you yeah, got even I got that? semen. Wait, what um, is your semen like? Well, it's brown. Oh, oh no, wow. like like a gravy? Like a gravy <laughs> seems. <It's> actually, <laughs> it's actually technically beef gravy. <laughs> Hey, is that something you'd be willing to donate to Rudy's Donut Shop to so you could have beef you want gravy a green donuts? <laughs> no. Donuts. <laughs> Hold on, Dave. Dude, actually. I love the way you're thinking. You try I to. love this synergy idea, but I'm going to have to hold off on you the know, beef gravy donut. A beef well, gravy donut's kind of a sexual innuendo, you know? You I, gave a girl a beef gravy donut. That's you know? true. So, yeah, well, speak yeah. for yourself. Speak for yourself. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. I will. When was, <laughs> who was the last person that you were intimate with? Um, I was intimate with a park ranger. A park ranger? Wow. So was this park ranger trying to kick you off the property? Because as we know, you've been staying illegally. Yeah, at first. Mm. Until we just hit it off. We started talking about life, man. Talking about oh. talking about stars and the cosmos. What was their life That'll like? That'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. What was their life like what, uh, the, that you talked about? They drive a truck and they live in the forest, but in a house. They drive a <laughs> truck. Wow, man. They live in a forest, but in a house. That's you heavy. must have been in love. <laughs> you have so much in common. It's or just me, like. Maybe you took something. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she now, man? With the, oh, him or her. He or she, of yeah. course. This is she, dude. Okay, okay, no problem. But it's mean, a she, dude? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, that was oh, okay. my favorite show on NBC. <laughs> A few years ago, she dude. Uh, so it's, it's really good. So yeah, okay, yeah. that's cool. Whatever yeah, we're gonna do. Yeah, we're both pretty pansexual. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. When you say that, what does that mean? Nom 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 nom. Beef gravy time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're human? <laughs> I'm not sure. Man. I don't think you're in a position to argue. That's man. true. I'm, I'm definitely yeah, not. What, just what other human. kind of immortal beings have you met? I, I hate to go into your well, backstory. Of course, but. I've met a Highlander. Of course. Oh, of course. He's yeah. been chasing me around the world trying to kill. I'm and, the last immortal. Of course. Everybody's yeah. got a. Uh, everybody's got demons are running away. Everyone's from got man. a 27 minute. Yeah, but yeah. across the entire universe, have of you course. traversed uh, of to other galaxies? Well, uh, of course. You know, John Lennon. You know, he's he's, he's well, of course. Of course, of yeah. Course. Well, he chose not to no be dead. No, he chose not to be dead. No need to even mention that one. No right. need to even mention. Sure. And but uh, uh, what kind of, I mean, have you ever seen anything like this guy? No, you know, I've never come across a being that is mostly salt and, and. Yeah, maybe there's some sort uh, of planet Beef gravy jizz. There's, I, I don't know. It seems like a natural creation of this earth. I can't. You know it, where? I am a natural <laughs> creation. What the hell? Where'd you grow up? Salt and beef gravy jizz. Valley. <laughs> maybe you're a TV dinner. You, you understand, you guys, you gotta understand. Wait, hold on. <laughs> There's no hold way. On. There's no way I'm a TV dinner. Well, you said salt and beef gravy jizz. It just makes me, reminds me of sitting in front of the TV. Sure, and potatoes. Growing up, you know. Yeah. Where? When you say Simi Valley, is there, yeah. I wonder if there's a, a planet out there in the universe called Simi Valley. Well, of course. There's, there's the planet of interpretation. Guys, oh. no. <laughs> guys, you gotta understand. Simi Valley's in the valley. You, you get temperatures in the triple ditch. Okay, okay sure. Okay. You understand, when, when you get... As opposed I, to the middle ditch? Thank you. <laughs> don't know who that is. <laughs> Sounds like a turd. <laughs> anyway. We called him Richard. <laughs> He hated it. <laughs> he, he stormed out of here. <laughs> yeah, he was really pissed. We didn't talk about that. Was that that dingus that I saw coming out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I we, wouldn't have called him, but yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Leading and, man type. Oh, yeah, he's a real looker. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you anyway. gotta understand the heat that high compresses things. Okay, mm, yeah. a lot of medical anomalies come out of Simi Valley. What else? Well, there's a boy with two backs. Oh, oh right, that's I've heard of Simi the beast Valley. with two backs. No, but a he's boy got with a literally spine two in the backs. front and a spine in the rear. Two spines. Yeah, double and spine. Two yeah. buttholes. No, two spines. Oh, but, but just one butthole and one penis. Two spines huh? c connect to one butthole. Okay, and then the butt, then the two spines also the connect to one connected head. Connected to the butthole. Wow. Do you not know? You're asking. You're t telling. Trying to tell me I'm not human. You the don't even know. Spines connected to the butthole. Butt <laughs> we learned this. Ghostbusters. We learned this. Right. Wow. Can I just say I was a bad student in mm. sixth, seventh grade, yeah. and mm. the teachers would always look at my homework and and be like, Hep, "See me." And I'm like, oh, God, here I am back oh. in Simi Valley. Here we are. Mm. Thank you. 
<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Okay, you're welcome. Um, so, wow. so uh, do you know any of these other medical anomalies, and do you team up with them ever? Like, do you have some sort of a... Are you in a freak squad of some sort? <laughs> That's a great way to put it. <laughs> That's what I'd call it. We wouldn't call ourselves freaks, man. Okay. Uh, we call ourselves maybe a little... Uh, we'd call ourselves alternative. Okay. Sure. But you know that old Harlem Globetrotters cartoon on Saturday mornings where, like, you know, metal I know the pro stars. Could, could turn into a basketball oh, and... Th- not, I'm, I'm only I'm halfway so sorry. through the first season. Oh, and, okay. You, wait, I'm, you haven't gotten to the part where he turns into a basketball yet? Not yet. That's but pretty I'm, quickly that's like in the episode first. one. Yeah, but I, if you could just not spoil okay. it. Okay. I, okay. okay. Anything in the first six episodes, I'm good. Okay. okay. I'm pretty sure they turn into like spaghetti and stuff like that. Yeah. The, we wouldn't call them a freak squad, certainly, but... Uh, no. No. The but, only cartoon I remember is the pro stars. The, what is the pro stars again? <laughs> <laughs> as far as I remember, it was a cartoon with Wayne Gretzky, okay, Michael Jordan. I'm interested, and um, you're you're miming running right now, but running yeah, like Tom the, Cruise the, with the extended fo- fingers. The football player that also played other sports. Oh, Bo, 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 Bo Jackson. Jackson, Bill Fridge Perry. No, okay. Bo Jackson. Mm-hmm. Do you not remember? Am I the only one that remembers this cartoon? I, they had a cereal and everything. Uh, they had a cereal. Is, is it like the first podcast cereal? Somebody get this on the computer, <laughs> I man. don't remember. I, I mean, none of us have computers. Somebody bring this up on TiVo. I confiscated all of our cell phones before the... the, the Hold uh, on. Let me go back in time. Oh, wow. That show was... Wait, okay, you I do go remember. back in time? Through, oh, yeah. I can run back and forth in time, Scott. Through the course. Speed Force? The Speed Force allows oh, for a lot okay. of... Good. Yeah, but yes, it is a good show, Thomas. It does exist. You watched Speed all Force. of them? I watched all of them, and I will not spoil what happened. It is okay, true. Thank I'm you. not insane. <laughs> you looked it up. We don't think you're insane. Pro I, stars. Brody. Pro stars, man. It was... no, none of us say we think you're one of the most sane people we've ever met. Okay, good. Thank All you. Right. The cartoon I liked was called G-Force. Remember that? Uh, I remember the Zach Galifianakis uh, movie G-Force. Oh, God, here we go. the um, hamsters. And... What, what other famous comedians are you friends with, Scott? Uh, David Whoa, Wayne. David oh. Thomas Middleditch. Impressive. Um, so what are your plans for the future? I mean, obviously, you you can't just be satisfied with this life. Well, Can you, Brody? Right. No. I'm talking to Brody, not yeah, you, Brody. Yeah, no, of course. I, my life is, it actually is not one life. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> that and that is, that's tough. That's true. Look. Honestly, I just want something simple, okay? Yeah. All I want is, Keep for it simple, my, stupid. is for my skin to be able to tolerate the sun. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know that, you know, I'm going to run out of forest eventually, okay? Yeah. I would love to be I did to, to be able to digest anything other than... <laughs> those four things. <laughs> those four things. Hey, have you ever thought that, you know, I, I know Sunscreen? of some other creatures that are unable to tolerate the sun. They're called vampires. Uh, what are you suggesting, dude? Well, uh, did anything yeah. happen to you two months ago uh, where maybe you were uh, out at night, uh, you know, all hanging I, around in a dark alley? All I can think of is about two months ago, I woke up with two holes <laughs> in my neck, and then every time I eat a zucchini, potato, onion, or eggplant, I have to dip it in human blood. <laughs> okay, okay, well, well that's might, might, all I can think of. You might be a you vampire. You might be a vampire. <laughs> yeah. uh, you might be a vampire. You know that <laughs> Jeff Fox. If you can't eat roasted <laughs> yeah, vegetables without dipping them in blood, you might be a man. Uh, yeah, man, that's fun. All right, I think we've cracked it. So Look. then you're immortal too. <laughs> oh, wow. You what? guys have so much in common. <laughs> hey, cool. man, I'll show you the ropes. It's hard, but you'll get used to Did it. Did you do anything to that park ranger, by the way, uh, that you were? Um, I only bit her. <laughs> <laughs> man, I think I think you oh, are no. a, a vampire. vampire. Man, There's no way, man. All There's right, no I think way. we figured. I'm from Simi Valley. <laughs> right, we, we figured it out. All right, we're running out of time. We wow. only have time for one last uh, feature on the show, and it's time for something called plugs. It's time for plugs, baby. That was professional. I like it. That was Dead Friends with It's Time for Plugs, Baby. That rocked hard as hell. Yeah, that must be an that actual was, band. That was totally transcendent. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot like the kind of mu- uh, music that a goth vampire would listen yeah. to. Are you kidding me? That's I, I've heard that song. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Wow. Uh, what are we plugging? Uh, David, do uh, you have uh, anything uh, uh, coming up? The, uh, the upcoming, there's a new uh, James Bond movie that's opening tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes, and, right. And uh, I play James Bond in it. Bond 
Bond, James Bond? Mm-hmm. And it's, oh, my God. Uh, well, well, let me test you out. Uh, would you like a drink, sir? Yeah. It's wow. Great. Well, Perfect. That's, like, that's like from the movie. Holy <laughs> shit. But it's okay. been a lot of fun, and I hope people check it out. Okay, great. Tomorrow. Op- uh, via wi- uh, opening wide. Uh, Rudy North. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, of course. Like you know. my dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know that joke? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, because like when your dad spreads it for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> I don't think I know that joke. <laughs> oh, my. You, you guys, let's be honest. We we all fuck our dads. Come on. No. Yeah, I know that's, I do. That's you know, not my It's experience. true. When you live as long as I no, do. With, with, <laughs> obviously with is your dad immortal? Yeah. Well, He's we, a wizard. We've, we've got, talked about this. We got to get, we got to talk Scott, about this at some point. we can't because I need to plug my TV show Wrecked on TBS. Okay. I, I'm a writer on that TV show. You want Rudy North? Yeah, yeah right? Rudy North is a writer on Wrecked season wow, three. you must have a lot of experience. I mean, gr- growing up immortal, you must have been on yeah. islands. and I wrote on I Love Lucy. <laughs> oh, you did? I did, I did. I wrote the pilot. Oh, I heard that was a fun room to be in. Was, was that the, was cho- the chocolate uh, factory one? It was the one? chocolate factory one. And, yeah. and I said, why don't we make it chocolate? The rest is history. Wow. So, yeah, you can check out Wrecked on TBS or the TBS app. It's a funny show. Okay, Scott. I, I got to check that out. It's funny. Uh, Brody Broderson, anything to plug here? Well, you know, depending on when this thing drops. <laughs> yeah. That Dorcas Maximus middle smitch. <laughs> He's got a show, Middle Dish and Schwartz, with that old crazy cuckoo caca boy, uh, oh, Ben Schwartz. Ben Schwartz, yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll be hearing from him in just a second. Yeah, they do two person improv and they got a whole show. And in the next dates are Phoenix on the 26th of October at the Orpheum Theater. I want to see that. And on the 27th, October 27th, at the North Theater in San Francisco. Wow. Is he wow. going to fly uh, from Phoenix to uh, Middle Schwartz? is going to fly his little airplane. <laughs> Which is <laughs> such a lame thing. So wait, you're, you're going to go to this show in Phoenix? You know the sun is yeah. very prevalent in I'm Phoenix. not going to attend. Oh, you just wanted to plug You just it. want to yeah. plug it. Yeah, I'm just a big fan. Okay. Yeah. Do you traverse through the underground tunnels here in uh, California? <laughs> Maybe. Do you know, did you see Hereditary? I did, yes. <laughs> you know when at the end she claws her way through air? Mm-hmm. Sure, yeah. That's how I get around. Okay. Got it. <laughs> and you sleep in the trees because they offer you the cover of the sun. Are you talking about eighth grade? <laughs> yeah. okay. she claws through the air? Uh, I want to plug uh, my X-Men comic, I believe, is out around now or sometime soon. Uh, X-Men Black uh, Mojo, number two. Mm. I also want to plug PCAST Blast. PCAST Blast 2018 is coming up uh, Saturday, December 15th. We have Comedy Bang Bang with myself, Paul F. Tompkins, Lauren Lapkus, and special guests. We have the Andy Daly Podcast Pilot Project, Doughboys, Throwing Shade, Off Book, the Improvised Musical, and Teacher's Lounge. One ticket gets you into all of those shows. PCAST Blast 2018 this December 15th at the Theater at the Ace Hotel, Los Angeles, California. Um, VIP meet and greet tickets are available and tickets go on sale this week. So check out my Twitter for info about where they go on sale. And let's close up the old plug bag. Whoa, what a bag. It's time to open it. Oh, yeah, that was Ben Schwartz, uh, the aforementioned, of course. Uh, guys, I want to thank you. David, always great to see you. Thank you, Scott. A uh, pleasure. Let's get that uh, REM cover band going, uh, if, if, if you don't mind. Hello, for real. Hello! I'm, yeah, I'm always wondering, when are we going to talk about REM? I feel like we're getting... <laughs> you want to be on the REM show? <laughs> That's what I feel you like. You must have been there since the early yeah, days. Yeah, so. I know so much about REM and their ancestors. Also, I feel like you should... Their ancestors? Yeah, 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 I know a lot of... It's, it's magical. Like cavemen? <laughs> the way they come, came together is magical, Scott, and I do have that insight. Oh, okay. thank you for the reference to They Came Together. Um, but mm-hmm. do you have Great movie. A, uh, a day on Earwolf where all of the podcasts talk about R.E.M.? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, we have R.E.M. Day where, yeah, we make uh, off book, uh, sing about it, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. Yo, Is This Racist discusses, uh, like, you know. It's racist. <laughs> yeah, you Has know, anyone ever even just thought about what R.E.M. stands for? No. What, why? What do you, do you know? I'm asking the question, Oh, dude. okay, you don't know. Because the R could stand for racist. <laughs> 
The only reason it's I racism is, everywhere, man. <laughs> and I know that you guys don't have enough time on your REM podcast to cover it all. So sure, it's yeah. Good to spread it out. Yeah, they're only those are short, short shows. hours. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, uh, Rudy, always great to see you. Great we got to get you, into Scott. some of your backstory at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you at Speed Force Thanksgiving, but yeah, my so best friend. That'll be great. I'll great see you. To, yeah, great to see you. Next and, time I'm here, Scott. Yeah, we'll dig into my backstory. Okay. Thank you for <laughs> promising that. I expect you now. Okay. And Brody Broderson, so good to meet uh, you. Please don't attack us. Uh, well, why would I? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're a vampire. We yeah, no, you I'm, thirst for human blood. Well, uh, I've kind. I, I could picture something like that in my mind every time I close my eyes, but it's not like I want it. I gotta get my friend Dalton Wilcox in yeah. here. Yeah, Dalton Will. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Hey, this is Arnie from the comedy podcast Hello from the Magic Tavern, a chat show I host from the magical land of Foon with my co-hosts Usador, the blue wizard and Chuck, the shapeshifter. Most weeks we interview adventurers, wedding planners, ambulatory trees. But this week we have a special episode. I am so excited to learn about the earth lore contained in Pride and Prejudice. We're going to do a book club of Pride and Prejudice. And you say this is a well-loved book on Earth, right? Yeah, it's one of those books that people love or were forced to read or more likely it's one of those I'm going to get to it. And some of our most beloved guests are returning to read the book with us and enjoy some drinks and food of a book club. We have Flower, we have Crom the Barbarian and Germ. You know who they are. Maybe you don't give a crap about what an academic thinks about Jane Austen, but don't you want to know what a wizard and a badger think about it? Not enough spells. Not enough grubs. Not, Not enough, enough sword fights. fights. Whether you love Pride and Prejudice or have no interest in reading it and just want to listen to a book club go really off the rails, you'll enjoy this week's Hello from the Magic Tavern. We shall defeat this book! 